Hello everyone, my name is Tafar and today we'll be talking about the notorious Urken Invader sent once again to destroy the competition in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2, Invader Zim. This little green guy with big plans always seems to come up short in his ambitions to conquer the planet on behalf of the Urken Armada. Zim uses a wide array of advanced alien gadgetry to protect his tiny, fragile body and to snatch victory from the claws of those filthy humans. And animals. And uh, other animal people. While he is incredibly small and light for an Urken invader, if your enemies can never catch you from behind your minions who do your every bidding, explosive grenades, and a gigantic doom laser, what does that even matter anyways? One particular item from Zim's collection of devastating tools of destruction, and his most loyal minion of all, is his state-of-the-art, not-so-standard issue, Information Retrieval Unit, Gur. Gur can be called out with Zim's side special, and while the button is held, Gur will jet forward. While he's out and active, Gur can be controlled at any time, even while Zim himself is being grabbed or hit. He can walk and jump, he has his own light and charge attack, he can swallow opponents with grab before blowing up, and he'll even copy Zim's neutral special, Pew Pew. Gur is definitely a tricky little robot to play with, but if you figure out how to put him to work, he can be an incredibly valuable asset to your plans for world domination. As was just mentioned, Pew Pew is Zim's neutral special. This move is a diagonally pointed laser that can be shot in the air or while on the ground. The laser itself has just a little bit of knockback, which can make it a wonderfully versatile tool for poking opponents from afar or maintaining some offensive pressure. Zim's up special has two variants depending on if Gur is ready for deployment, which you can tell based on the icon next to Zim's profile. When Gur is available, Zim can point his up special in any direction and charge it for slightly more distance and speed. Watch out though, if Gur is still active on stage or if he's just recently been destroyed, you should probably be careful. Without Gur and his rocket boosters, Zim's up special becomes only a very short, very vulnerable hop. And at that point, you'll probably need to do a slime dash for some extra distance. Last but not least is Zim's down special, Explosion. Explosion. It's a slow explosion. This move places a devastating explosive device into Zim's hands. The longer the special button is held, the bigger and slower the explosion will become. When you use the slime version, the explosion starts out with about half of its maximum charge. Zim certainly does not come alone on his quest for victory. Besides Gur, Minimus and his guardian gnomes also join the fray. Minimus is Zim's charge down air. When called into action, Minimus smites enemies beneath him with a bolt of lightning. The guardian gnome is Zim's grounded charge down attack. When thrown out, the gnome slides forward and pops out a few lasers. The longer these attacks are charged, the longer they stay out, and of course, the more powerful their effects. Playing keep away with the explosive grenades and lasers while also letting your minions do the work for you is an effective strategy with Zim. But don't let all that authority get to your head. With his lightweight and brutally weak recovery when Gur is unavailable, you'll quickly learn what happens when you let yourself get careless. Nonetheless, Zim is still, in fact, a mighty Urken invader who has incredibly powerful tools with which to plot your victory. So with the right plan and proper execution, nothing can stand in your way. Are you worthy of joining the ranks of the Urken Elite? Find out by playing Zim in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 coming very soon. Let us know who you're most excited to play, and as always, thank you for watching.